Welcome back, everyone. I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Elden Ring. Um, probably you've heard it many times before, but it's been a very long time since I've played this. Um, as always, I tend to record in bulk whenever I have the time, and uh, only recently did the uh, backlog finally run out. Uh, I did, for a time, play on some alts to try out some other builds and other kind of ways of progression. Um, and then I kind of just stopped playing Elden Ring for quite a while. So, uh, yeah. So one thing I did do off-screen before starting this video um, is I went ahead and used some of my severed fingers to invade. I did it three times as required by the quest. And uh, kind of just... that's all I've done. So I haven't had much practice. Uh, I haven't had much of a refresher <laughs> of how to play this game. But um, uh, the PvP, I two to three invasions, I literally just used Severed Finger and left the moment I invaded. I'm hoping that still counts, I'll find out in a bit. Um, the second invasion I did, literally the guy's summon was literally right next to me, waiting for me, and just killed me before I can even finish uh, before I can even finish using the, uh, the Severed Finger, the, the Finger Sever. Um, Overall, I don't really have much interest in PvP um, in any of the From Software games. Um, I, I've mentioned it in Dark, my Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3 playthroughs. Um, it's The fact of the matter is, is it feels like I don't actually fight the opponent, I fight the netcode. I've had situations where I've swung through an opponent completely, finished my swing, they roll, and, they, and, and the attack doesn't register. And then I've had attacks that are outside my... Uh, that were beyond uh, range, you know, hit nothing but air, and then I take damage. And it's until they fix that, it, there's just not anything for me there for uh, PvP. Anyway, let's talk to you. I apologize for the volume if it's not correct. It's been a while. Actually, give me a moment. Okay, I was just doing some volume checks. It seems to be okay. Lampkin, so pleased you're here. I'm glad that you're enjoying my gift. Hmm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Sure, I'll do this. Hmm, yes. Who would have it any other way? Now, take this. Alright, Lord of Blood's favor. For your final trial, soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. There we go. I think it's implied that he killed our maiden. Um, in fact, if at the very beginning of the game, there's literally a dead body to the right where you pick up the um, the um, the what was it? Oh, it was the uh, the poison finger and all that, um, which was a uh, was wearing maiden's robes and all that. So that was probably supposed to be our maiden, but she died. Anyway, so we did get a. It's a key item, I believe. Yes. Alright. It's been a while since I've... There we go. Pure white oath cloth given by Vare. The final trial to be anoint... anointed a knight of Moog, lord of blood. Soak the cloth, cloth with a maiden's blood. The blood of any anyone's maiden will do. You are maidenless after all. So I think there are two maidens that we can potentially get uh, the blood from. Uh, one of them, I think, is if you do the full whole frenzy stuff, 
Um, obviously, the maiden involved in that gets dies in the end. Um, I think you can get the blood from her. Um, but the easier way that doesn't involve any any murder on your part is to go here. Is that right? Yes. It's been a while. But yeah, doing this can actually get you a really early access to a pretty late game area. Um, we've actually got we we only just recently got an access to the por uh, portal that I can that can take you to the to that same area. Um, I ha I don't think I've shown that portal off yet, but it's essentially in that snowy area. Uh, not the not the area that's actually progression, but the optional area which is over here. Um, I believe there's like a there's a portal somewhere around here. I think it's along this way. Anyway. Is this right? Uh, we need to go this way. Do we need to go that way? Oh, is it? Actually, might be up there. Sorry. It's been a while. I think I had a comment a while back asking how much more of this game there is. Quite a bit, mainly because I've been going so slow. I've been reading all the descriptions, listening to all the dialogue, and kind of just doing all that. So yeah, there's this dead maiden here, and you, you can just dip it in blood. Final trial is complete. Luminary Mog is sure to welcome you into his service as a knight who will lay the foundations for his dynasty. Okay. And yeah, I know I missed some stuff. Um, there's a cave down in this area that leads you to like a little nook down in this area. Um, and uh, there's a person there. I don't think I could get access to her anymore. I might go down there just to get a refresher. But um it is a it's a poss it's a way to get to the um I get another um ancient uh somber stone or whatever it's called. But if you miss it then you're kind of out of luck. But I think I can go back. T um, if I'm too late, then more than likely sh uh, the person down there will already be dead. But I can probably get the summon that's still down there. Uh, I should have teleported closer. It's too late now. All right. I've lost all track of any updates this game's gone through since I last played, so I don't know what's been buffed or nerfed or changed. I will say when I was doing the PvP stuff, it, I actually had to wait a decent amount of time to actually get summoned. Most pe and I guess the other issue as far as Elden Ring is concerned is the only way you're actually open to evasions is um, when you have an ally. So no matter what, if you're being if you get accepted into an invasion or whatever, you're already outnumbered. It's a little annoying, though. At least a little bit newbie friendly, I suppose. Ah, my lambkin. You've completed your final trial, and with this, you are a formal inductee. A knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. 
This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. All right, give him the middle finger. Oh, good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. Ow. All right, get a bloody finger. Never forget that feeling of agony, for it is what binds you to Luminary Moog, to all of us. <laughs> you have the sweetest scream, my lambkin. Why, thank you. Oh, another thing. You should have this. Pure blood knight's medal. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog. I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity we must endure a little longer ah it is trying but we must be patient one day you will be elevated deservedly basking in love right my lambkin <laughs> all right so, uh, so essentially, Bloody Finger is just an infinite use uh, festering Bloody Finger. Uh, yeah, glistening blood has been siphoned into the nail of this of this finger. Its sickly pale skin feels nothing now, but the nail still aches with sweetest pain. Well, that's unpleasant. Um, and then the other thing we got. might actually be an item. Yeah, it's an item. Pure Blood's knight, uh, Knight's Medal. Proof that one is a glorious knight of the new dynasty of Mogwin that the Lord of Blood will inaugurate. Used to be granted audience with Moog, only uh, it is not yet time. For Moog yet slumbers inside the divinity. Be patient, the new dynasty is nigh. So, the the new dynasty is never going to come. So essentially, just use this whenever you want to actually go and meet Moog. Uh, we fought a Moog before, but the 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 one that we will have a audience with is essentially, I guess you could probably say, is the real Moog, and uh, much more difficult. Oh, uh, one other thing about invasions: um, if you die in an invasion, uh, you do lose your runes, which that in itself doesn't bother me. What does bother me is the your mark that has your runes is where you, you die during the evasion. So uh, one of the things you can do whenever you uh, opt to do an evasion is you can either uh, set it to near or near and far. And near and far makes it so you essentially can invade anywhere in the world that you've been to. Um, when it comes to near, it's not as bad because it's at least in the same zone. But um, as I mentioned, I died on my second invasion. I only lost like 500 runes, but those 500 runes right now are uh, somewhere. Yeah, there's, yeah. See, there's these are that's where my runes are right now, um, because I. The invasion took me there and I died there. Which is really, really just kind of annoying. <laughs> I mean, granted, most people that do invasions don't care about the runes anyway, because they don't want to change their, their level. But it's still... It's not a very good incentive. Alright. Enough complaining. Let's go... Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this, the... the um cave that's down there just in case if because if I can get access to it that'll get me another ancient uh, somber stone or whatever it's called you can definitely tell it's been a while since I played since I don't even remember the terms so if 
Head south. So, when you get the, um, when you go to the area that had the, uh, like the dead village or whatever, and there was the guy that was disguised as a pot that gives you one half of a medallion, um, that, around that point is when you actually trigger the assassination attempt that's made against you. And the, um, what's his face? The guy with the, the helmet. You know, he apologizes and all that about, like, hey, sorry about, you know, trying to murder you or whatever. And he tells you that, hey, you probably should get that other half of the medallion. You can probably find it from one of those, uh... Um, can't remember the term. <laughs> I honestly don't remember the term. Uh, that race that's, I think it starts with an A. And you can try to get, get it from, uh, that individual. But I never knew who, where that was <laughs> in my playthrough until uh, one of my more recent ones. And through that individual, you would actually get information about where to find the next uh, half of the medallion. I already know where the other half of the medallion is. But if you bring that individual along with you, um, you could potentially get a additional reward around that same same general area. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely I'm missing a cave. Yeah, there's a cave around here somewhere. It's along this edge. I know that much. But it has been quite some time. Definitely went too far. I probably ran right by it. If you hit those poison guys with poison, they actually explode. Just like they get overloaded or whatever. Maybe there's one around here somewhere. Reasonably easy to miss, apparently. There it is. Terry Leaf. Alright, uh, this location is not too bad. Um, mostly just has Beast Can or whatever they're called. Oh, good start. Already got hit. I do have the regen. Uh, the regen talisman, so I should be at least okay on that front. Um, you can actually jump up here. Actually having trouble seeing these things, even with the light source. Oh my god, please just lock on. So yeah, you're supposed to like hit this area like upon entering the, the lake essentially. 
Obviously, we're a little bit more than that at this point. Ow. Hello, what are you doing here? Spear talisman. So long. There they are. All right, spear talisman. Enhances counterattacks uh, unique to thrusting weapons. Talisman depicting a spear and a soldier enhances counterattacks that you, yeah. Uh, spears are standard weapons for soldiers and lands between. They made it possible to respond to a ferocious foe with an equally ferocious counterattack. But just like any cave, uh, all caves have a boss in it, and we haven't hit a boss door even though we fought things that are similar to bosses. What we have to do is parkour. Oh god, I hate when I do that. That is not a good message, by the way. That's actually not correct. It's over here. And then over here. And down here you can start finding crystal moss. If you're like one of the three people that actually do crafting in this game. Here you can find some of these guys. This can actually be your first time fighting these things. right yeah it looks right drop soft cotton for fall damage which is pretty much all or nothing in this game should be able to just drop down here yep Smithing stone. So yeah, you may come down here just to quickly get a smithing four. Because it's usually you're trying to beeline for one your weapon and two of the the necessary uh, stones for it. That's the boss area. Yeah. So you 
by one of the Bloodhound Knights. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. As you can see, I'm very out of practice. So I'm pretty sure we found the Amber uh, Medallion plus one before we found this one. We certainly did. So yeah, no difference from the plus one, just does less. Alright. Did I go the wrong way? I did. I went the wrong way. I got turned around. Yep, she's already dead. Pretty sure she died the moment I got the other half of the medallion. Latina the Al Albernaric. So yeah, um, if she was still alive, she would be right here, uh, resting. Her wolf would uh, be would be dead. Um, and after you have a conversation with her, she'll be like, "All right, I'll come with you to go find the other half of the medallion, since uh, she trusts us more than the other guy that murder murdered everyone." Um, the summon's kind of interesting. Ashen remains in which the spirit dwell. You summon the spirit of Latina, the or Latina, the Alberna, uh, Alberneric. A rare case of one who chose to become a spirit voluntarily. Uh, Latina was uh, renowned as a deft magic archer, but having lost her beloved wolf companion Lobo, she cannot move from the place where she was summoned. So yeah, she literally does not move. Um, she's as, essentially a turret. Some say she's pretty decent. Obviously, if she, if she ends up getting attacked, she's kind of screwed because she can't roll or dodge or anything. But if you can keep the boss occupied, you can just have your fun with that. But yeah, if you bring her with you, um, you can go... I think it's all the way to this location, uh, which you have to have the both, si both halves of the medallion to get to this area. If you take her to this location, I think you, you could potentially get a stone, uh, a uh, ancient stone. And honestly, this cave is pretty easy to miss unless you really kind of listen in on what the what you're kind of told. And even then, you could still miss it. Like even even when I was actively looking for it, I missed it when I first passed by here. Anyway, uh, so plan of action next. That was mostly just to get myself. Uh, shake off some rust there but yeah I, the plan is I'm going to go ahead and use the um, blood knight item so I can go directly to Moog and fight him and in preparation for that let's go ahead and get our wondrous fix, uh, physics set up so what we want for this is this purifying crystal tier purifies the lord blood's curse and a mixed physic um, if you do not have this and you fight Moog, you're going to be in a world of hurt. It's not impossible. I've done it, and I've seen many let Let's Players and streamers fight them without this item because it's actually pretty easy to miss. Um, but it supposedly can make things a lot easier. But uh, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I am the Depressed Dealer. This was Elden Ring. I'll see you guys later.